Hello, I am Sam the Statman coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the most heartbreaking moment for every NL East team. And um, this is the second video in my series where I look at the most heartbreaking moment for every team by division. And without further ado, let's get into it. For the New York Mets, it was losing, losing the 2006 NLCS. And um, that must have been so sad for Mets fans. The big, A big part of that, which I'm going to be focusing on, is what happened at the end of Game 7. The Mets have the bases loaded, and Carlos Beltran, he used to kill the Cardinals. Oh. There's two outs, the Cardinals are winning, and Adam Wainwright's right out the mound. There's two strikes. He throws a beautiful 12-6 curve. It just lands right in the middle of the cycle. Beltran, Beltran freezes up. Oof, I feel bad for them. I mean, as a Cardinals fan, it's good for me. But as a Mets fan, oof, that must hurt. As a Nationals, for the Nationals... Slash Expos, who are probably the most heartbreaking team of all time if you count the Expos, it's 1994. The season, I mean, I feel bad for the Expos because they were the best team in the MLB and the strike happened. They never got to go to the playoffs that year. They didn't get to go to the playoffs that year. So they were robbed of all the money that comes with going to the playoffs, which meant they had to sell off a lot of their talent. Um, oof, that's got to hurt because... If they didn't, they probably would have won the World Series. If the strike never happened, they probably would have won the World Series, but alas, that didn't happen. There were a lot of choices because the Expos are a depressing team. Rick Monday ended their only postseason appearance by hitting all of them. It became known as Blue Monday because his last name is Monday. Get the pun there. Okay. Um, it wasn't that fun. It was to me, though. And for the Nationals, their biggest heartbreak is losing the NLDS to the Cardinals. When they had a big lead and were about to win. So, um, yeah. For the Braves, it was in the 1991 World Series, Game 7. They lost to the Twins, one nothing. I just don't like, like, playing in the World Series against the Twins. Because whenever you do, they have that home field advantage because the whole dome and it's hard to catch the fly balls. Same thing happened to the Cardinals in 1987. I feel bad for people who weren't members of the Twins trying to play there because... The members of the Twins who play that are adjusted, but the people who aren't for the tw play f who don't play for the Twins, must be hard for them. So um yeah they lost Game Seven one nothing and they lost the World Series. Oof, for the Phillies it was another team that had something bad that something bad happened to because of the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, yeah in 2011 the Phillies were absolutely stacked. They won their division. They were the best team in the NL. And in the 2011 NLDS, they got to face the Cardinals, who were 1972, and the Phillies had more than 100 wins. The Phillies were up two games to one. They needed only one more win to win the NLDS. The Cardinals ended up winning game four. And then game five, Cardinals win one nothing thanks to one run in the first inning. Oof, oof, oof. As a Cardinals fan, like, like I said earlier, it makes me happy. But as a Phillies fan, that must suck. And finally, for the Miami Marlins, this isn't really something that happened on the field, more something that happened off the field. After they win the World Series, they always sell off all their talent. So, oof, you know. Well, they're not exactly the richest team, so, I guess. And, um, yeah, so that's the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!